07 Commanders. This is Commander Rough Life from STLC, Strategic Tritium Logistics Centers, and uh, the T8 has just come out. And um, our question, of course, is immediately, can we mine tritium with this? Is it going to be any good for tritium mining? Um, it is definitely not going to be the best tritium miner. Um, that uh, is going to have to be um, a spot kept by the um, cutter and the uh, Corvette respectively for a laser and combination of uh, laser and SSD. However, um, for anybody looking to, to start in, kind of starting up with tritium mining, I think the uh, T8 is a perfectly good starter ship and might just compare um, and possibly outperform the uh, the Python. Um, uh, I yeah might not it might not the Python might still be king of medium ship um, um, <coughs> tritium miner. Um, but but there's some there's some benefits here. We, we can look a little at the internals for that. I haven't been able to set it up like perfectly because I just got this. We're out in the void, um, and I didn't have uh, the possibility of um, of setting it up as I would have wanted to. But I've got I've got some stuff on it. Now while we're out here and looking at is the um, tritium, I mean, is the T8 going to be a good tritium miner? Then let's look a little bit at what, why would it be that and what does it take? So, uh, starting off, let's, let's just look at this ring. This is, this is a very good my, uh, ring for tritium mining. Um, I'll let you know that most tritium hotspots, most rings suck. They're, they're just not good and and this is the reason why the community at large had the initial experience of tritium mining being something to dread uh, and that's not it's not wrong it, it's not a wrong experience it's just that looking a little further we've found that there's a lot of parameters about mining uh, which comes into play particularly with tritium making tritium uh, mining in, in my head kind of like mining endgame um, not because it's particularly lucrative uh, it's definitely not a money maker um, but being able to fuel your own carrier gives a tremendous freedom uh, to just head into the void um, yes there are star initiative depots here and there out there um, sometimes they deplete you know if you're unlucky there's there's not enough left there and you have to travel to the next one so be you know uh, I'm not discarding that possibility if you, if you have the the credits uh, star initiative depots are great and a fantastic time saver um, however if you like me uh, would like to do resupply missions for star depots uh, then uh, being able to mine for your own fuel, for example, enables you to do a full resupply with a single carrier uh, as you're not spending any of your cargo for your traveling. And now, back to the topic at hand. Sorry for blabbering off there a little bit. Um, so we're, we're, we're talking about treating mining and is the uh, T8 a good ship for it? Um, what does it require? Well, it requires scouting around. Like you see, when I ping the uh, pulse wave analyzer, I'm now specifically talking about SSD, by the way, uh, not so much laser. I don't think this ship is ever going to be a very good laser miner because it only has one class two slot. Uh, but you can fill the rest of the, I mean, you can fill you can fill the class one slots with. Uh, I recommend the pre-engineered mining laser that you get in LTT 198 I think it is uh, permit locked uh, worth unlocking um, and then you have quite a few lasers on it uh, you, you would do one class 2 laser and then you have on each side of the cockpit you have a fantastic spot for unfortunately then just a class 1 
subsurface, but um, as this would be a build for kind of you know quick trips, uh, that doesn't matter. Anyhow, um, so what we want to do in in a ring is to scout around and find these yellow glowy rocks. Like there's two over there, right? Uh, and as you can see, this ring is perfect for that since it's such a flat ring and it's easy to see everything. And it's also quite dense, so everything is close together. So just hovering down a little bit, we can you know see everything here. Um, and then we want to go, you know, we want to put a prospector in this. Uh, to see what we have here, um, and I think the um, the visuals, like the overview from from the cockpit, are phenomenal. Um, it's really easy to look around. Those mandibles, or whatever they're called, uh, are slightly obstructive for tree inviting, but never mind. And look at this: we have a thirty percent um, rock. Those are not that frequent, so now it would have been nice with lasers. I don't have any of those. Um, but that wouldn't have taken so long to, to deplete with this with this build. Um, what I w what I'm looking for is the these uh, okay, so not tritium. That makes this rock uh, what I call a dirty rock, um, since you know it was supposed to have tritium, it didn't, and it's dirty, and that rock is slowing me down. So that is like a minus in the book of uh, considering this ring as a, as a good tritium ring. If there's a lot of dirty rocks, then we want to find a different ring. Um, again, tritium mining is uh, inherently slow because it's low yield uh, or SSD. And SSD is, is a little bit of work. So you want, like I said, flat ring. Here's another good ring. This is has, I mean, another good rock. This this might be a good ring for laser. Dirty. It's got water. There's a tritium. Okay, so I'm already seeing just just. I mean, if if this experience continues of the rocks being dirty, then this is not a particularly good ring for tritium. Uh, we'll we'll be looking for another one. Um, so we want to find rocks that uh, like this has plenty of SSD. Is it have plenty? Yeah. Like so, if all of those three subsurface deposits were tritium, then um, and this would have been a perfectly good rock. You know, I could just mine around it a little bit. It's also small. You see, it's not a very big rock. It's a fairly small rock. So moving from one deposit to the other is going to be easy. Um, now let's see in terms of handling you know the ship uh, this type 8 handles beautifully um, I think it is a really good one and with the hard points position that right next to the cockpit then hitting this tritium spot I mean this tritium deposit is is super easy there's nothing you have to compensate for you don't have to go slightly to the left um, or to the right because that's where the Hard point is, um, so I think this is a pretty good experience. I'm, I'm mining flight assist off, uh, just because asteroids are spinning and trying to match that rotation with flight assist on is sort of, you know, the ship is fighting you. Um, so specifically for trading and mining, I actually learned flight assist off. I was not a flight assist off pilot before that so but once I'm done with this I'm gonna say was that also tritium that's water um, water water okay bit of a dirty dirty rock ring um, here we go here's another one you see this is this is good for tritium mining this ship pitches and rolls. It is agile. Agility is good. It's been a while since I flew the Python, but I think possibly this ship is a little more agile. Now let's see if we find another tritium deposit. Here's two. What are they? Tritium 
and tritium. All right, no. Um, now I'm not gonna go fly this stuff. Is there any spin to this rock? There's a little. There's a little spin. Um, so let's see. Now I'm trying to f do this flight assist on, which I think is harder. But okay. Yeah. It is fairly easy to stay on top of the deposit. I have to constantly work on it. It's taking more of my attention to do this flight assist on than flight assist off. But I'm, I'm doing it in case, you know, for those who are not wanting to go flight assist off then can they still do it yep and i think this is a beautiful ship for doing subsurface de deposit mining really easy to hit the um the deposits with it oh god this is taking so much of my concentration wow okay <laughs> I have to think now. Um, and here's one thing though, I'm already out of ammo because the uh, class 1 slots don't have a lot so this is not gonna give you like big amounts of tritium with just... okay I think that worked. No! I got... oh no I got that visual bug. Great! Good timing for that. Alright, so I lost my ammo uh, but I've been blabbering long enough anyhow. Um, is the Type 8 a good treating miner? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good treating miner. Maybe, maybe a starter ship. Um, you're going to use the, uh, the two slots next to the cockpit for your um, SSD missile launchers. Uh, and you'll be running out of uh, ammo quite quickly, so you will not need more than the uh, class 7 cargo maybe maybe actually best would be to use the class 7 for the multi limpet controller and then use two um, class 6 for cargo and then the rest uh, for uh, collectors because the internals were I mean it's got good internals because you can fit a lot of cargo but it doesn't have so many so the amount of limpets collector limpets that you'll be able to fit is fairly limited so putting the uh, class 7 multi-limpet controller, the universal one, and this build will give you 8. <coughs> and then if you just put one more class 5 or something, then you have enough for, you have enough internal slots for the rest. Uh, I, think, I think that's how I would build it. Um, that would make it quite spectacular uh, in terms of kind of quickly just going into the ring, coming out with about 100 uh, tons um, fit all the other slots with um, uh, with mining lasers so you can get the good good laser rocks too uh, yeah yeah this would be a good ship for trading mining um, it's not gonna be my go-to at any point because I, I prefer to go to the vet or the cutter as mentioned um, but for a starter build this would be perfectly good I hope you enjoyed my rambling um, and I hope you learned something about tritium mining as well in terms of what we're looking for. We're looking for flat dense rings like this that are easy to navigate. It can be a little thicker, you, you know, if, if there's like two or three layers of rocks that doesn't matter, you can still see a lot. Uh, small or medium rocks are easy to navigate around. Let's see if I can find my list of things just to mention that if you're still listening. Um, I can I have it right here um, yeah so ring height and density uh, lots of lit boulders we call L O L B lolb uh, is a pr phrase we've we've picked and that's when you ping the pulse wave analyzer and you see lots of lit boulders like this you know there's a lot of stuff out here you don't have to travel far to get to the next rock um, rock size I mentioned we want medium or small rocks that are easy to fly around and then there's the amount of SSD per rock. Um, that varies a lot. Um, so like here there was three in one. There's been a few that um, didn't have at all. Um, you're looking for yellow and preferably more yellow than this was. 
17%, uh, nice. Okay, it only had one. Uh, this is water uh, and water. I might have looked at this already. Uh, so amount of SSD per rock. Um, I've been seeing like really good ones um, like that. Oh, those are some nice ones. Look at that, look at that brightness. Uh, so these might have more. Let's see what they have. Um, ideally, you want like four or five subsurface deposits on each of these rocks. This ship is killing the prospectors. That's not a good thing. Well, again. Okay. Maybe it's not such a good miner. Let's see. Poof. Nope. Now it went. Um, so, ideally you want lots of of uh, deposits per rock. This didn't have any. It's got 22% though, so it would have been good for lasering. Um, and then you want those deposits to be pure trit and not dirty rocks. So this doesn't, like this ring doesn't have 30%. Ooh, it would have been good for lasering. I don't have any lasers. Um, again, not much. Yeah, so um, it's got a lot of the good metrics, but it doesn't have um, a good amount of deposits per rock. And where there are deposits, they are dirty. So those are the metrics. Uh, let me repeat again. Ring height and density. Lulb, about lit, lots of lit boulders. Rock sizes, amount of SSD per rock, and whether it's pure trit or dirty rocks. So that's what we're looking for. And in a ring where all of those things would come together, if you put some laser uh, miner, uh, laser mining lasers, sorry, on the ship as well, then uh, it would have been a decent, decent miner. I've talked too much. Cheers, 07 Rafael.